Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Miss Hot, what is up? Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's going to be an exciting night. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, a lot to give you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he all right? Mm. He's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily! I missed you so! I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive, considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's terrible! Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. Do you remember the Dark Man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. I'll be back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. How fun. I do like riding in the motor car. Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? None at all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. Have you seen Detective Carnby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere, poking and prodding. Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. Happy to be of service. Have you seen Detective Carnby anywhere? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about your tedious routine. Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Ooh, is that gumbo? I make it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. 
Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe he left. Looks like a storm's coming. Radio says it could get real bad. Floodings and such. I should probably get moving before the weather gets worse. Have you seen Detective Carnby? Not for a while, but he says he's gonna wait for you. Take care, Batiste. You too, Miss Emily. Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know. Sounds like you might be in a cult. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you think that. What are you doing? Preparing for the ceremony. This time she will come. I'm sure of it. Who's coming, Grace? The Black Goat of the Woods. The mother of a thousand young. I hope you find what you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. I almost forgot this was here. Very hard of DeSetto, you know. Almost time to call on her. What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No. And I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us.
ever there.
Emily, are you all right? I don't understand anything that just happened. What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle! Are you alright? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy. Okay? Hey, kid. You doing all right? It wasn't what I expected, but you can't always get what you want. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. What on earth are you talking about? 